Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Doug Curran and I'm Leslie Draffin. Tonight, a local family is upset with administrators after their son was sent home from school, and it is the reason that's really baffling them. The mother of a Rosebud Lot ISD student says her son was sent home early because he has shaved his head to support her fight with cancer. And on the last day of school, students wrote on his head to also show support. Channel 6 News reporter Jasmine Caldwell spoke to the family as well as the superintendent who says that there is more to this story. Now, according to the superintendent at Rosebud Lot, this is a good family and they support their fight with cancer. But when it came to signing her son head, that's when things became disruptive. There's no doubt that Rosebud Lot middle school student Easton Fulton loves his mom. She needs somebody to support her. She needs somebody to be there for her when she's hurting and when she's going through tough times like this. Fulton's mom is battling cancer, so to show support, he shaved his head so he could look just like her. Once he got to school, the superintendent said a group of his peers started becoming disruptive and used a marker to sign his head. That's when the assistant principal told him to wash it off. And I went in the restroom and I just felt that it was wrong for me to do that because all them people were supporting my mom. So his parents were called and he was sent home. That's also kind of baffling as well as to why you would send somebody like him home for supporting their parent on the last day of school. But um, yeah, I was I was furious. Easton's mother said she wishes administrators could have been a bit more understanding. It was ridiculous that they did that to him. I want to know why they chose to give him such a harsh ultimatum, you know, either go wash your head off or you're going straight home. And, you know, he did this because he felt strongly about something. He wanted to support something. The superintendent also said using markers to sign her son's head became a health issue. And for that reason, he was asked to go home. Reporting in lot, Jasmine Caldwell, Channel 6 News. All right, thanks, Jasmine. Now, both the mom and the superintendent say they have had a good relationship in the past and they hope to continue to have one in the future.